Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a tool review and overview of three of my favorite hand tools that I use on the job site every day. Uh, so let's get into it. So the first tool I would actually like to go over is this M4 finish hammer. It comes in 12 ounces and 14 inches in length and is fully customizable. So you can buy these hammers from Martinez Tool Company pre-built for the price of $225 or you can customize them uh, everything from the head to the handle and even the grip uh, and those come around $294 without assembly. Uh, so let's take a closer look and see what it's all about. So as we take a closer look at this hammer, I want to go over a couple different things with you that this hammer has in the overall design. We'll start off with the grip. This grip is a curved grip, which has a nice little thumb imprint on the back. It makes it really comfortable to swing, and I really enjoy using it. You will also see here that you have a side nail puller, smooth face finish, as I'm a finished carpenter, so this caters to me more than, say, a milled face, and also has a wide claw. This can come in extremely handy when pulling off trim. You'll also see here on the back side of the hammer this little bolt. This can be unscrewed and you can interchange the heads. You also have the option to have the milled face hammer head or you can even have the M79 sledge hedge which is equivalent to a two pound sledge hammer. That comes at a total of $75. And that you can put on the M4 hammer or you can put it on the M1 hammer. Another big thing as well is we all know after using something, things can get worn out. So a really nice feature on this is that you can remove the screw, you can take the end cap off, take a razor blade, score it and peel this grip off and simply slide on a new grip and reinstall the cap and screw at the end. So the second tool that I want to go over is this MTC 12 inch titanium nail puller. This nail puller has two traditional nail pullers at each end, a high leverage side nail puller to completely remove 16 penny nails. This also comes in extremely handy if you're doing any kind of trim work and you need to pick up say a pocket door and go underneath it, you can also use the leverage of this bar to put underneath the door. At no point in time did I ever feel like this was going to bend or this was going to break. I had 100% faith in the strength of this tool and it has come along extremely handy. This can be purchased on Martina's tool website for the total of $95. So last but definitely not least is the famous Martinez Square. Uh, now there's been a lot going around on social media, um, people complaining about things such as price, uh, but I don't think they really realize the quality and the design that has been involved in a tool that has been around for a very long time. Um, I think that it's hard to improve some tools sometimes, um, but with this, Mark has gone the extra mile and uh, really designed something quite flawless in my eyes. Um, to me, it's worth every penny, and in, it's an investment in quality. And there's nothing I like more than quality tools. So let's take a closer look at this square and see exactly what the design is all about. One of my favorite features has to be these scribe marks. This allows me to leave my tape on the side of my tool belt and simply use my square. I can put the square up against the edge of the material put my pencil inside of the notch mark and right there I have exactly an inch and a half line. Here we also have a really nice ergonomic handle. It feels great in your hand, super lightweight and even includes a little level. Now if you were to damage this bubble inside it's completely replaceable by taking these four bolts out, replacing the bubble and simply reinstalling these four bolts. This comes in extremely handy when doing little things such as window sills. Instead of having to carry around a torpedo level, it's one less thing that I have to carry around for the entire workday. Another really nice feature of this square is the fact that it has a metric and imperial socket. So whether you're trying to take your blade off of your skill saw, or you're trying to take it off of your miter saw, this right here can do it. 
Another really cool feature as well is if you look here, you see a little detent, and this is actually a bottle opener. So you know what? After a hard day's work and you want to crack open a cold one, you've earned it. Now, when I spoke with Mark about this square, he told me to do things with it that you would never imagine doing with a traditional square. It's titanium, it's strong, it's durable, it's not like the other ones which are soft. He said you could drop it on the floor and not worry about the corners getting all smushed in. Uh, he said you have glue on a cutting board, scrape it off. You have drywall in the corner, scrape it off. Now, and that's one thing that I have done and been using it on site and it almost feels kind of foreign, you know, because traditional squares are soft and they don't last very long, you know. I tend to replace mine, say, once a year or every two years because they just simply don't last. And the edge of this square is not razor sharp. You can run your thumb along it and not worry about it, but it holds such a good edge that you can scrape drywall off, you can scrape glue off, and not worry about a thing. So I hope that this review may have answered any questions that you may have. Uh, there's a lot more information on the Martinez Tool website. You can see all the different options and customizations that you can do with the hammer, for instance, and the different options that you can have for different tools. If you're on the fence about purchasing one of these tools, I urge you to do it. I think that quality tools really shine on the workplace and you can use and abuse them every single day and they will be there ready to go the next day. And that's something that you can't really put a price on. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me here on the YouTube comment section. I am also on Facebook and I'm on Instagram and I will answer your questions to the best of my knowledge. Also, feel free to give Mark Martinez at Martinez Tools a follow on Instagram as well. As always, thanks for watching.